I'm Mark Healy, and you're watching the Expression Big Wave World Tour. Yeah, Jeff Clark's a legend. He's an absolute legend for what he's done in Mavericks and pioneering it. Um, great guy. I've gone on a few trips with him. And, he, you know, Jeff Clark always says Mavericks was a left. He initially surfed Mavericks by himself as a left. And if you watch it from the cliff or if you actually watch it from the channel on the left, you start realizing this. Because the, the right's amazing, it's open face and it's longer, but it just doesn't slab up and barrel the same way the left does. Granted, you have to pick them. A lot of the waves will just clamp down on the left, so you, there's a learning curve. But the potential for an absolutely amazing giant tube right on the left is far higher. That wave in the Mavericks event, it was first heat in the morning, the waves were really inconsistent. You know, I had just got in at 5 a.m. that morning. So no matter what day it is at Mavericks, when I first get in the water, I feel stiff. And the cold is still a shock. Boy, I'm putting a five mil on the is a shock to me. So first heat, it's inconsistent out there, feeling very uncoordinated. A set comes in, I was out of place because I was trying to sniff around different waves. Everybody's getting waves. I'm like, no, you know, this is not gonna happen. There's probably not gonna be another set this whole heat. So I'm paddling out, I'm just paddling out and I'm kind of winded because it's first thing in the morning and I'm still cold and stiff. And I remember Pete was paddling out with me and he was like, are you gonna go? He's trying to get in my head, I think a little bit because he wasn't gonna go if I did it. And so I was like, yeah turned around, whipped it, and I didn't have a lot of momentum coming into it. So I really thought I was screwed, but I was just like, I'm gonna stick to it. I'm just gonna make sure I stay over my board and just see what happens. And I remember getting to the bottom of the wave and I could almost feel my board flex on the transition because it, the transition of the wave on the Mavericks left is so different from anywhere else. Like if you make that kind of weightless airdrop you go like straight into flats and I could feel this board flex and I, I saw the nose go in the water and spray hit me in the face off of the nose and it's like oh boy here, here it goes I'm not this is like forced yoga here that I'm not feeling I, I'm either gonna like tear a hamstring and get lift or, or just get lift but somehow it popped out and I went straight into my edge and kind of got around it and got a pocket ride and came out before it pinched. And I think you can see in the GoPro shot, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that, you know? <laughs> and then I watched the footage, I'm like, damn, I look pretty coordinated right there too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that happened. I sure didn't feel like it. So that kind of like got my spirits up. <laughs>